The balanced scorecard is used to align business activities to an organization's strategy and monitor organizational performance versus strategic goal. A balanced scorecard is defined as a management system that provides feedback on both internal business processes and external outcomes to continuously improve strategic performance and results. By bringing together measures around internal processes and external outcomes, a balanced scorecard supports continuous improvement at the level of strategic performance and results. The scorecard usually contains information related to four categories, learning and growth, internal business process, customers, and financial results. Balanced refers to all of the categories needed to provide a complete picture of the organization's performance. Financial results are the bottom line, but those results are not likely to be achieved without attention to the other categories. Any work group or team that wants to clearly demonstrate its performance and value can use the balanced scorecard. But the team first needs to understand itself and its purpose. Written mission, vision, and value statements are helpful. The mission describes the group's purpose, the vision projects, what the team wants to be, and the values describe what is important and how the team will function as it achieves its mission. For example, a value may be, we work with integrity and value honesty over popularity. An analysis of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats also helps the team characterize itself. Furthermore, a priority list containing the team's projects and processes is an important foundation for the prescribed activities. First, define the group's key work processes. Employees, no matter what level in the organization, can be assigned ownership of a process. The team leader or manager can take on work processes such as budgeting, staffing, and overall performance and strategic planning. Other processes can be assigned to teammates who are committed to collecting information needed for tracking the process performance. The teammates must recognize their peers as process owners and the team leader must establish mutual accountabilities. The team's processes then are related to higher level objectives within the organization such as business goals or executive management objectives. For example, a quality engineering team's product development support process can be related to the company's research and development objectives for rapidly bringing new products to market. Processes also should be traceable to one of the scorecard categories, with all the categories being represented. Each process might have several metrics based on quality of work, timeliness, or cost. For example, Product development support might have review documents within three working days as one of its metrics. The time to review documents then could be measured as an attribute as reviewed within three days. Yes or no, or a variable that is the average time to review each document. The information can be portrayed in tabular form on one page with room for charts and other team information, such as the mission, vision, and values. Updating the scorecard on a monthly basis is recommended, possibly with quarterly summaries. There are numerous benefits to using the scorecard. For the team, there is a sense of teamwork, joint ownership, and accountability. For management, the team's performance is highly visible and easy to understand. Let us take a couple of examples of the balanced scorecards for different businesses. 
The development process of the balanced scorecard in a company involves several steps, such as establish a clear vision of the future, define strategic objectives, determine the critical success factors, choose indicators to measure and monitor performance, set goals, action plans, and initiatives. Establish all five steps for each of the four perspectives mentioned in the beginning. These points are only some aspects of how to set goals and choose indicators. We would now look at three examples of strategic maps that are generated during the development of balanced scorecard projects which summarize all of the work for the organization. Balanced scorecard example regarding strategic map for a dairy plant. Four columns heading from left to right are objectives, goals, indicators, and initiatives. Four O's headings are financial, customer, internal process, and learning and growth perspectives. This is an example of strategic map for a balanced scorecard of a jewelry store. And this is an example of a strategic map for balanced scorecard for an e-commerce business. Thank you.